é o what? I love Saint Petersburg because this is the greatest mix of the history, quality, old school and contemporary life. In November I showed you the biggest vinyl store in the city. Ewa, Ewa. One of at least 10 vinyl stores in Saint Petersburg because people here are into old school, they love vinyl. But not only, you know Saint Petersburg is one of the most reading paper book reading series in Russia, at least according to the amount of bookstores per capita. And uh, no wonder it's St. Petersburg, Dostoevsky, Pushkin, Gogol, Davlatov, Brodsky. That's just a short list of world famous writers who lived in St. Petersburg. Um, the largest chain of bookstores here in St. Petersburg called Bukvayet which literally means a uh, letter eater. 143 stores in St. Petersburg and Leningrad region. Here in the historical city centers, they seem like almost everywhere. One of them here on Nevsky, Nevsky Prospect, right in front of the uh, guest yard, Gostino Dvor. Let's get inside. Today is the 30th of May 2019. My name is Sergey Papukov and I continue my video vlog. Now, the first floor of a three staged bookstore. But in the very beginning, here is the souvenirs. Nothing surprising because traditionally the uh, uh, books are low margin business. So now, most of the bookstores in Russia they also sell the souvenirs. Uh, gifts like here, starting with Matryoshka dolls, balalaika, also uh, stationery and educational games. Here are the cans and glasses with the uh, sightseeings of the St. Petersburg, of the historical St. Petersburg, like here, uh, St. Isaac's Cathedral, the drawbridges, the plates t-shirts. In St. Petersburg many t-shirts have the number 1703. That's the year of birth. By the way, just four days ago the city celebrated its birthday. 316 years. The raincoats and umbrellas. Often rain in St. Petersburg, so it's a pretty useful thing. Confectionery chocolates nice gifts and look what I like you know St. Petersburg popular for its sidewalk so-called Parebrik because uh, they pronounce Parebrik only in St. Petersburg so that's why they are literally sell just a piece of the sidewalk here as a souvenir it's it's fun, you know. I know that Bukvayet, some of the souvenirs they are making themselves, like these covers for the passports, and some are they are sell from uh, the partners. Bukvayet has its own cards, the card of the traveler. Usually they are distributed. This is nostalgia back in the 90s. I was making the unboxing of this, if you remember. I've got it here. So they have the cards of the traveler that gives 10% of the price during the summer. So if you will be here in St. Petersburg, um, just remember about it. Postcards, again, mostly with the sightseeings of uh, St. Petersburg and the bags. St. Petersburg. The departments of exclusive editions. In Russian it sounds like gift edition. And really these are mostly popular books but uh, made uh, in a quality paper, quality cover. So gift edition it's like you can gift it to somebody and uh, feel proud about it. 
nice quality covers even on a distance and behind the glass I can see this as you know St. Petersburg is a full of history so here is the whole department dedicated just to books about the history of uh, St. Petersburg two rows here and there as for kids as for adults and in different languages English French Italian German all the basic languages if you love the Soviet stuff here is the corner for you to like these posters made in constructivism and uh, Soviet avant-garde style constructivism Russian advertising posters Soviet means Excellent death to world capitalism. The sets of uh, original Soviet posters. At this shelf, the bestsellers in fiction. If talk about the foreign authors, that's Stephen King and Joan Rowling with her Harry Potter. Bookvayet has an online store which is completely synchronized with all of their physical locations in the stores several terminals like this you can make a search to see uh, if they have the book that you need here or in other uh, stores let's say I search for the book about Rachmaninoff so they show what they have uh, if they are now presents here in the store and where exactly they are located the whole rack and the number of uh, shelf being not just a bookstore but the largest chain of bookstores in St. Petersburg Bukvayets not only just sell the books but all the time organize uh, different literature events like let's say here in this store on this scene they are inviting many uh, famous uh, writers uh, to uh, uh, present their new books or uh, so-called creative meetings or uh, literature master classes they remove these shelves and uh, can uh, get up to 300 visitors during the event here and many of the stores they have so-called literature coffee shop well just a coffee shop you can get a coffee and uh, desserts and here is also another uh, scene for the events for uh, smaller presentations or different meetings piano Fyodor Dostoevsky crime and punishment part one chapter seven he hadn't a minute more to lose he pulled the axe quite out swung it with both arms scarcely conscious of himself and almost without effort almost mechanically brought the blunt side down on her head he seemed not to use his own strength in this but as soon as he had once brought the axe down his strength returned to him the accessories for school boys and school girls like a school backpacks the folders, copy books, diaries, and just all the stationery. Now going to the third floor. The department of uh, those educational games for the kids I told you about. Starting with the traditional uh, checkmates and chess, but mostly here are the board games. Uh, world famous Monopoly and Russian analog millionaire but mostly here are way less known board games too well actually it seems like all this third floor completely dedicated to uh, the children uh, toys board games on books classic world classic and Russian classic literature here 
in this store you always can find like a cheaper editions and more expensive editions if you want like, to have any book in a nice cover so pay more if you want just a book like you can you can take like this one way more simple but way cheaper You know, Russia traditionally is staying one of the most paper book reading countries in the world. I guess thankful to the older generation. However, we can't resist that the internet, gadgets and electronic books affecting the paper book industry big time. Let's say in the Soviet Union there was uh, 8,500 8, uh, bookstores and now in Russia here is only 1,500. I'm not sure those if it's correct to compare Russia and the Soviet Union because the territory is way less. But even another statistics uh, shows obvious negative trends. In 2008, only in Russia, in Russia there was 3.5k bookstores. Now it's 1.5k bookstores. So more than twice less stores for like 10 11 years but in the same time there's another curious statistics that the amount of book names are released every year is staying the same like about 120,000 uh, of the book names like uh, new books however the circulation is uh, falling down all the time for about like 40 45 percent for 10 years um, that tells about the fact that actually people keep reading the books. Uh, you know, the publishers uh, publish them, release them, but they are just getting into the digital world, especially with the uh, developments of the gadgets and uh, the youth that is uh, getting born all the time. And uh, I guess we already have the whole generations who are maybe never even held the paper book in their hands. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment how it looks compared to the bookstores in your countries and uh, what is your favorite out of the uh, Russian classic literature. Comment, like, also. See you, dude. And what?